how to prepare well in advance so that you have an uncomplicated pregnancy. If you are also looking for the answer, this video is for you. When should a couple start planning for pregnancy? As soon as the thought comes in their mind. It is important that both the partners or the would-be parents should be as healthy as possible when they become the parents. Step number one is to visit a doctor or a gynecologist who would ask you certain clinical questions related to you and your family, based on which some blood tests and radiological tests will be suggested to you. Those tests are checking your hemoglobin level, checking your blood sugar, thyroid levels, viral marker, thalassemia screening, checking your urine and also rubella antibodies. If you have any pre-existing disease, that would also be ensured that the condition is in quiescence, which would mean that when you get pregnant, the pregnancy is not affecting the disease and the disease would not be affected by the pregnancy. So it is very important that your condition should be in remission or controlled. Your vaccination history would be inquired by the doctor and if in case you don't have rubella antibodies, you would be prescribed rubella vaccine. In today's time when COVID is prevalent, it would be important to ensure that your COVID vaccination is also up to date. Any other adult vaccination which needs to be performed in your case, it would be suggested by your gynecologist or your GP. It is extremely important to have a well-balanced nutritious diet whether you are planning for pregnancy or otherwise as well. If so far you have not been mindful of what you are eating, preparing for pregnancy gives you a valid reason to now put attention to your diet. A balanced diet is a diet where you are eating controlled portions of the diet which is rich in adequate amount of protein, complex carbohydrate and good quality fat. The diet should contain green vegetable, fruits, whole grain cereals, unsaturated fat, avoid trans fat and processed food. It is important to start exercising if you have not been doing so. It not just ensures that your fertility is improved but it also ensures that your pregnancy goes uncomplicated. 45 to 50 minutes of mild to moderate exercise 5 to 6 days a week for 30 to 45 minutes is good enough. The exercise can be strength training, yoga, running, walking, jogging, swimming, whatever you enjoy and which you can sustain for long. How can we forget folic acid and this is the vitamin which should be started at least 3 months prior to planned conception. This vitamin is required to prevent neural tube defects. So apart from taking the oral supplements, we should be at least 400 microgram of folic acid tablet every day. One can also take green leafy vegetables which are a good source of folic acid and this is mandatory. Vitamin D levels, if they are deficient, should also be corrected before one starts pregnancy. It is also important for you to understand what is your fertile period during the preconceptional period so that you can conceive in an optimal time. In a female who has got 28 day period cycle, she is expected to ovulate on day 14. So any day which is 6 days prior to day 14 which is from day 9th to day 14th is considered your fertile window. So a couple who is having sexual intercourse every day for from 9th day to 14th day they have got the maximal chance of conceiving. But having said that if it is getting too stressful for you even alternate day intercourse during day 9 to day 14 would be also helpful. If in case your 28 day cycle is not 28 day cycle but it is longer or shorter, you need to talk to your obstetrician gynecologist who would explain you what your fertile window would be. As soon as you miss your period, you can do your urine pregnancy test because in today's time, the urine pregnancy kits are highly efficient and once you are confirmed that you are having pregnancy, visit a qualified obstetrician 
who would take care of your pregnancy and will ensure in the antenatal period that your pregnancy goes uncomplicated. I hope this video helped you in preparing for the pregnancy. If in case you liked the video, then do come back and next week we will be talking about what are the changes that are happening in the body of the female as well as the fetus in the first trimester which is the initial 12 weeks or initial three months of pregnancy till we meet next time have a great week ahead bye bye from me